Installing Windows 11 normally takes forever. Click next, accept this, type that, regional settings, user account, Wi-Fi, property, boring. But what if I told you, you can install Windows 11 without even touching your keyboard? Yep. Windows 11 installs itself like magic. You don't even need a compatible PC. You can bypass the requirements. It's done via a file called autounattend.xml. It's basically an answer file. So Windows asks a bunch of questions. The XML file has the answers. So Windows takes the answers from the XML file and just... So today I'm gonna show you how to make the file how to inject it into your USB and how to install it or how to start the installation because it's automated. So you're gonna want to go to this German website schneeguns.de then you're gonna want to go to generate auto unattended XML files for Windows. I'm gonna leave the ding... Uh, the ding... the link is gonna be in the description. I'm just gonna show you the most important stuff on this website here and you can take a look at everything by yourself because really it's a lot of stuff you can do here. Display language is gonna be English. My keyboard is gonna be German. I'm mostly gonna do 64-bit installs. You can choose here. I'm going to bypass Windows 11 requirements check so you can also install Windows 11 on PCs that are not compatible and that's awesome. I'm going to let Windows swipe and partition everything. So it's automated. Uh, if you have multiple disks, I would partition the disk interactively while setting up Windows because you can't know for sure which SSD it's gonna or HDD it's going to wipe and install Windows on. So if you only have one disk, that's okay, you can do the same as me. I'm going to use a generic product key and it's going to be a pro. You can also take the license key that's stored in the BIOS, it will activate it automatically. Okay, here you can also put the users. My user is gonna be Mugu and Mugu. And password, it's gonna be, don't look. And it's gonna be an administrator. We're gonna put the PC to log on automatically for the first time. So that's gonna skip the welcome, we're preparing this and stuff like that. And the good thing is, it's gonna create a local account and not a Microsoft account. You know how hard it is to bypass. You really have to try. I don't know why Windows does that. I mean of security reasons, because it's really easy to hack into a Windows PC if it's a local account. Want a video on that? Put it in the comments. Passwords do not expire, but I'm always gonna show file extensions and also use the classic menu on Windows 11. Also open File Explorer to this PC instead of quick access. I'm gonna leave it full. I'm going to disable widgets and do not show Bing results when searching in the start menu. That's a good one. I'm going to remove all tiles because I'm going to remove some bloatware. Remove all pins. I'm going to disable Windows Defender. Hide Edge first round experience. You know how annoying that is. Okay, I'm going to choose my own desktop icons. That's it. I'm just gonna put the recycle bin there. You can also pre-configure your Wi-Fi settings. If you wish, you can do that here. Sticky keys, I have no idea what that is. I'm going to remove bloatware. Here you can do that. Because Windows comes with all of this bloatware software pre-installed. It's a lot of stuff here. 3D viewer, I'm gonna leave that. Maybe I will need it. I don't know what game assist is, so I'm just gonna leave it. PowerShell. Okay, here you come to the custom scripts. I don't need any, but if you need some, you can also do that here. And we are basically done. What's left? We have to download the file and put it on our Windows 11 USB. How do we do that? I'm not gonna leave you hanging, of course, so let's show you. So now we're going to download our XML file. So let's take our Windows 11 USB, plug it into your computer, and now you just take the auto unattend XML and just put it here. It has to be in the same folder as setup. And now you can close that, 
you can eject your USB. And before showing you how to install that, I'm gonna show you one more trick that Schneegans has. You can go to choose file, then you're going to choose auto unattend, upload, and import file. And you don't like something that you configured, you can just import the file and just change that, download it, upload it to your USB again, and you're golden. And this is perfect. So one more thing to do is boot from your USB and watch the magic happen. I forgot to film the outro, so this is it. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the like button if I helped you. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.